Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to today's video which is a school day routine as a mom of seven. So this is what a typical day looks like when the kids are at school. Uh, we've got a few kids at school, a few kids at college and a few kids at home. So first of all I'll wake up and do my uh, dawn prayer and then I'll sort out breakfast for the younger kids. So myself and uh, my husband actually split the school run. So yeah, we managed to make it work just about. The college kids get themselves to college just fine. And uh, it can be quite hectic in the mornings especially, but it works, alhamdulillah. So it's quite cold and chilly and rainy most days. But I just love the freshness outdoors sometimes. So once I've dropped the kids off and done my portion of the school run, I'd usually come back and uh, prepare some breakfast for myself and if my husband's not working at the time, some breakfast for him and um, for the kids that are not at school. Sometimes the college kids will come home early, so I might prepare a little something extra for them or they might eat out and then come home. So. Yeah, each person has kind of got their own times at the moment. It's weird as the kids get older, the kind of changes in the household and no longer having to do a school run for the older kids. It's, it's interesting but weird. But uh, anyway, back to breakfast. I was going to have some avocado and boiled eggs on a cold autumn's day. So I like to add some salt. I've got this peri peri salt that I'm a little bit obsessed with uh, from Aldi. So I use that and um, some ground white pepper as well as some lemon juice. And then I just top with the boiled eggs and a little bit of salad. That was a delicious, lovely breakfast, mashallah. I did a little tidy up, nothing extensive. And then we took uh, the little ones out for a bit of a walk and we needed to pop to Aldi. Even though it's cold and rainy, it's still nice to get some fresh air. So once we'd been to the park, we went to Aldi and had a little look around and picked up anything that we needed. I got some flowers and I got this cake mix or scone mix, which was on offer for 49 pence. Hopefully, inshallah, I'll be making them over the weekend. And then I took a little bit of time out of the day to pop the flowers in a vase and um, yeah, it's just quite therapeutic actually. I won't lie. Then it was time for lunch. So for the kids, I made some fish fingers and I didn't make them, I put them in the oven. With some potato wedges and some mixed veg. And for myself, I had some uh, cream of mushroom soup, a little bit addicted. <laughs> um, yeah, cream of mushroom soup with some toast and a coffee. This cute plate, in case you're wondering, is from b and I got it from like a Christmas gift set. Should still be in stores if you're really interested. <laughs> So 
So I enjoyed my lunch with the kids. In the afternoon, if I manage to put the kids down for a nap, I like to catch up on some works or some YouTube stuff. Or if I've got time, I'll read a bit of a book. And then it was time for the afternoon prayer. And soon enough, it was time for pick up for the school run. So off I went on my merry way. <laughs> After doing my portion of the school run, when we came home, it was time for the late afternoon prayer. So I said prayer, it's quite early now and the clocks went back. So I did my prayers and then I prepared a quick little afternoon snack for the kids, which was um, these pizza muffins. Quick, easy and the kids loved them. So I lined an oven rack with some foil and then I've got these uh, baps or muffins just added some tomato puree i don't even think i need to describe it to you because it's so simple but we've got some tomato puree just spreading that on and obviously you can add other toppings but i just use some cheese and a bit of this Italian herb seasoning and the peri peri salt again and then you put that in the oven for about I think 10 minutes and it keeps the kids happy while you get on with other things and uh, like after school activities um, before dinner and then it was sunset so around is it around 4.30 so I prayed my evening prayer, Maghrib prayer, and then it was time to prepare some dinner. For dinner, I made this uh, mincemeat gima and potato curry. It's a really simple curry to make, quick, easy, inexpensive. So first of all, I added some oil to a pan. You don't need loads because the gima's got fat in it. I just cooked the mince till it's brown, added in some chopped onions or two medium onions. And then added some garlic and ginger paste. And then you just add in the salt and spices, give that a stir, cook it for a minute. And then added in tomatoes, so four diced tomatoes. I then added the potatoes in and covered with water. So bring that to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, turn it down and simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. We actually had the curry with these delicious garlic and coriander mini naans from Asda. And that was our dinner on this particular night. So it's a full on day on a school day. But I like to find little snippets of fun and joy, like um, buying some flowers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.